morning guys welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new here and if you are new here make sure you go and hit the subscribe button and join the fam my goal is to get to 3,000 subscribers soon so i would love you guys all to be here on my channel and support me i love all of my supporters so much and right now i just made my coffee as you guys saw i make coffee every morning in like every single one of my vlogs literally but i just love my espresso so much so so freaking good i'm gonna put it down so today's video is going to be a self-care day a whole day of just self-care a self-care vlog pamper vlog pamper day but all at home um they have opened up like salons and nail salons um but I, i'm not going to any of those just yet just to be extra safe um so i'm gonna do everything at home anyways i like to do my nails myself save me some money and i'm pretty good at doing them myself so yeah, i'm just bringing you guys along a self-care day what i do to feel good when i need just like a nice pamper day because everyone deserves a nice pamper day after working hard and after being super productive so last week was just like an eh week for me and then i was super productive monday and tuesday i worked yesterday and yeah so it's perfect timing to have a nice self-care day at home just to let myself unwind and pamper myself up a little bit even though i'm at home it's totally okay um and this just goes to show that you can do a lot of the things that you normally do at home without having to spend so much money so i'm trying to save you guys money as well um so yeah let's just get into this routine the first thing that i'm going to be doing i'd love to start my mornings off with my coffee but i also like to start it with like watching either youtube or watching a show just to have like a relaxing time in the morning to myself before i get into doing anything whether i'm whether i'm being productive or not i still like to take this step in the morning and have my coffee watch some tv and relax and then once i'm done with my coffee we'll get into everything else that i'm going to be doing today so i hope you guys all enjoy my bed is literally nice and cozy i'm literally gonna sit in my bed and drink my coffee and i know i have white sheets but i'm always super 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 careful i'm just gonna incline my bed just so i'm sitting up and not hurting my back and yeah i'm just waiting for my brother we're gonna watch a show together so yeah here's my coffee my little setup for this part of my morning i love sitting in my bed it's so comfortable this mattress that i have is the best it's from mattress room it's a like a perfect sleeper pillow top the soft one it's so good i love it all right now it is time to do my nails so i'm gonna be doing just white today this is the la girl gel like um polish and it's just gnl659 if you guys are interested in this one they have obviously a million different white nail polishes so i'm gonna do this right now i'm doing my nails and my toes i haven't done my toes in so so long or my nails actually both of them i haven't done them in a super long time but i like to do them because it also prevents me from picking up my nails because i have such a bad habit of picking my nails and it's literally a very bad habit to have but I don't know it's just sometimes when i get like anxious or anything i start to pick up my nails so if you guys have any tips of what i can do to stop that bad habit let me know down in the comments i really recommend trying to learn how to do your nails yourself at home because i've saved so much money and i keep dropping things because you can get little kits from cvs target i have this thing that pushes back my cuticles i have this little tool here I have a nail file like I have everything and it makes it so much easier and I'm just gonna do this and probably watch a couple YouTube videos and then I'll be all done and it's super quick and I'll let them dry but that's literally about it it doesn't take me that long and it's just nice and therapeutic to do it by yourself all right I'm actually I just finished doing my toes I'm gonna do my nails on this little stool thing that we have just because I am scared that I'm going to get 
anything on my new desk that I have, even if I have a napkin. Because sometimes I'm very clumsy. Um, so yeah, I'm just doing it here. And I'm very chill. The fan is on, so it's like perfect to help let it dry. I just like cleaned them up around the edges with a q-tip and nail polish remover but I'm gonna keep it far my nails are not long right now so they look pretty rough because I've been picking at them but other than that I feel like they look good and my nails always grow when I have nail polish on them so I can't wait to continue to be consistent and painting them so that they can continue to grow so I'm not picking at them I always say this and it never happens but this time I'm going to really try my hardest to not pick at them so right now I'm actually gonna go and pluck my eyebrows a little bit because they look crazy and they really need some serious help so I just use this Revlon tweezer right here so good best one I've used so far so I'm actually gonna do this in the bathroom mirror okay. No race Killing time You can die Hours, minutes, days and nights Trading all of our deadlines For conversations over wine Killing time You can die In this moment Alright, I didn't do too much I just cleaned up a little bit um, I'm trying to also not go too close To my actual eyebrow I'm like mostly just getting the hairs around Because I want them to like fill in a little bit so that when I can finally get them done, they're not too thin. I don't even know if that makes sense, but like I don't want them to be th too thin by me doing them myself all the time, so I'd rather let them grow and just get all the hairs that are like super, super around them. Um, but yeah, also I'm trimming my hair tonight. Well, not me. My mom is actually going to be trimming my hair. She's done my hair a bunch of times already, especially even when I was younger too. Like I've gone to get haircuts like at actual salons and stuff and like when I would dye my hair I've gotten trims but sometimes she just does it for me and saves me so much money because now haircuts especially for girls like I feel like they're so expensive just for getting a trim um so my mom does equally as good of a job and from home so she's gonna be doing that for me tonight and I'm really really excited because my ends do need a little bit of a trim I'm not gonna go crazy literally the slightest trim ever just because I want my hair to be a little bit healthier on my ends it's always good to get a trim so that your hair can continue to grow and it's just not all dead on the bottom so right now I'm going to chill and watch YouTube until it is like gets closer to when I'm going to shower so I'm gonna work out shower and then she'll do my hair um, Working out is definitely a part of this self-care day because it makes me feel good. I always feel so much better after I work out because I'm just like so proud of myself. Even if it sucks during it, I'm just pushed through and I feel so good afterwards. So I hope this motivates you to just get up and do a workout. Even if you're dreading it, you'll feel so good afterwards, trust me. But yeah, and then I'll show you guys all the products that I'm going to be using in today's shower routine because there's always those days where you have like an extra shower where you just do everything hair mask exfoliate all that stuff so today is going to be that day and i can't wait to show you guys every single thing i'm going to be using today but that's going to be in a little bit i'm just going to relax and watch the youtube
and I feel like every time I stand under that light it's like super super bright but I just put my hair up in a bun just got ready to do a quick workout I'm actually gonna do Kaylee Varney's ab workout I love her ab workout that she posted on her channel so definitely go check her out if you have not heard of her she does a lot of like workout fitness lifestyle content but I love her ab workout that she posted so I'm gonna just follow along to that workout and then I'll be good to go for my workout of the day and then I can go shower wash my hair and have just like a nice pamper showery time so I'll see you guys after my workout or I might show some clips of me working out and then I'll go shower when the sun is going down and it's just so pretty in here without the light on so I'm gonna take a nice shower today play some music all right first I'll start off with the shampoo and conditioner that I use I just use this suave curtain infusion shampoo and conditioner it's so good it's good for color treated hair and it makes my hair feel so smooth and soft and I love it so much I've shown you guys my face wash already before but if you're new here this is the face wash that I use CeraVe Foaming Facial Cleanser. I'm also going to be doing a face, ma uh, face mask. I'm also going to be doing a hair mask today. I haven't done a hair mask in so long. And since, like, you know, we're taking care of my hair today, getting a nice trim, I want to do a hair mask. So I have two. The one I'm going to be using, I don't remember where it's from because my friend's mom used it. I explained this before, but I forgot the name because she put it in, like, a tub for me. But this one is also really, really good. It's a hydrating argan oil mask. So, yeah, if I can recommend another one, it's this one. And so I just have the other one in this tub right here. So I'm going to leave the hair mask in um, for about, like, seven minutes after I shampoo in the shower. So I'm also going to be exfoliating today. So I use this Dove Exfoliating Body Polish Pomegranate Seeds and Shea Butter. It smells so good. Sorry, my phone just went off, but... It smells so good and leaves your body so smooth so if you're looking for a good body exfoliator I highly highly recommend this it's amazing my legs and body feel so smooth and now I'm going to put some moisturizer this is the moisturizer I use I don't know why my hand is literally like shaking but this is just Avino love this it's simple but really good now I need to go and comb my hair out so that we can get to trimming I'm literally not even cutting that much off at all but a healthy little trim. My mom is now gonna trim my hair. I just combed it out. I didn't put any product in because I'm gonna put the argan oil that I am gonna use afterwards after she trims it because I'm not blow drying my hair or anything. So after she trims it, I'll put in the oil and do a face mask. So I'm not putting on my moisturizer or anything right now because I'm gonna do a face mask tonight. like so much healthier and like you know when you cut your hair and it feels like the ends feel so thick it feels so short now all right now while my hair is still damp I'm gonna put my oil
This argan oil is the best. I've spoke about it so many times on my channel. Just take this much <laughs> and rub it all over my ends mostly. And sometimes I just grab this piece because it can be a little dry up here. It feels so healthy though. I'm very happy. And now it is time for a face mask before I make my tea. I'm gonna wash my hands. I've done a face mask before in my vlogs. Peter Thomas Roth. I love this face mask so much. I've been doing it basically like every Thursday, so just once a week. And this is the pumpkin enzyme one. Gonna wet my fingertips like it says to and get started. I honestly really think this has helped with my hyperpigmentation. So I'm really liking it. If you guys have any other good face mask recommendations, leave them down below for me. And I'm so excited because today has just been such a good relaxing day. Like I love self care days like this. I need to get my phone and put a 10 minute timer. And while the timer is going, I will start boiling the water for my tea it, it won't be a self-care night without having tea because tea is just super super relaxing i love lemon ginger tea lately i've been drinking that almost every single night my laptop there all right I'm gonna chill here I have my lemon ginger tea I'm either gonna watch something on Hulu or if anyone posted on YouTube I'll go and watch the YouTube but this is what I'm gonna do for a little bit guys i'm going to end off this vlog right here because i'm ready for bed i just put on my laneige lip mask put in my little night sleeping guard thing that i have um but i really hope you guys enjoyed this self-care vlog at home um make sure you guys are taking the time to have yourself a full day of self-care because it's very very important because we can all get caught up in being super productive and being go 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 but really truly take this time for yourself to do something whether it's just taking an extra 30 minutes in the morning to watch something you like. So that is my advice to you guys all. To make sure you are having a self-care day because you deserve it. It's very important mentally because life can be draining, especially, especially during this time right now. Because I definitely know that it has affected me and it's affecting so many people. And we all deserve a nice self-care day to take care of ourselves. To just do things that we enjoy whether it's doing your nails doing your hair watching shows just being lazy like you know we all deserve it regardless because we're all very hardworking and you know life is tough so it's definitely important to take that time for yourself to have a little you day so i hope you guys all take advantage and do that and enjoy this little advice for the night but if you did enjoy this video make sure you give it a big thumbs up don't forget to subscribe and always leave me a comment because I always respond to you guys and that helps my channel grow. And I'll see you guys all in my next video. Bye guys!